Good morning. What's going on? So, a lot of people say that I don't look too cheery and happy and funny on these videos, these vlogs. Well, sometimes I'm not in a cheery, happy mood. I never said these were going to be happy, funny, and sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and little leprechauns jumping all around. It's not about that. It's about being real, honest. Some days I'm in a good mood, some days I'm not. Today I'm somewhere in the middle. It's 7.30 in the morning. I gotta do shit I don't wanna do. You all know how it is. What do you want me to freaking do a little Irish jig for you? It's not gonna happen. We're just gonna shoot the shit. That's all we do here. We shoot the shit. And then we say peace out till next time. So for today, I want to talk about traumatic incidents, specifically from my past. And if you guys have any stories about any type of traumatic incident you want to share, please shoot me an email, mattfraziercomedy at gmail.com or hit me up on Facebook and uh, what we'll, you know, get it off your chest, because I want to uh, maybe use it to uh, make fun of you later on one of these vlogs. So, my traumatic incident happened when I was 17 years old. I was working at Blockbuster, and for those of you that recall, there was a time when there was no Netflix. There was no Netflix and chill. It was Blockbuster and chill. And you rented a movie, you returned the movie, and if you didn't return it on time, you paid a $4.50 late fee. And then it just kept on growing and growing and growing. Till you rent Steel Magnolias and you owe $27.95 for it. And then you ask yourself, why did I rent Steel Magnolias? So, when I was 17, I worked at Blockbuster, and I was working the cash register, and a fellow came into the Blockbuster, it was around 3.30, and I remember the time vividly. And he asked me if he could use the bathroom. I said, sure. So I handed him the key with that long piece of wood attached to it. it. Looked like a little two by four. So you don't want anybody to steal the Blockbuster bathroom key, God forbid. So I gave him the key with a two by four attached to it. And he went, uh, he moseyed on back to the back of the store and to use the facilities. Maybe 25 minutes to a half hour passed by. I didn't pay any mind to it. I had my other things that I was doing at work. He comes out. He doesn't doesn't say thank you. He just puts the keys on the front counter and walks out. I didn't think much of it at the time. Until about a half hour later, I got a phone call. Say, uh... I answer the phone. Thank you for calling Blockbuster. This is Matt. How may I help you? Guy says on the other end, Yeah, I um, was just in the bathroom about a half hour ago and I left my wallet. I believe I left my wallet there. Can you go back there and check it out to see if I left it there? I say, Sure, no problem. I said, Jeff, can you uh, handle the front register? You gotta take care of this. So Jeff took the front counter and uh, I took the keys to the bathroom and went to the back bathroom. And what I saw next, I could never have mentally prepared myself for. 
I got to that bathroom. I opened the door. And there was brownie batter smeared all over the bathroom, on the mirror, on the walls, on the toilet. I was scared. Felt physically ill. So much so that I wanted to vomit. Literally wanted to vomit. And I'll never forget that voice on the other end of the line. On the phone I heard, Hello, are you still there? I'm still there. So did you find my shit? So I'm on day two of this uh, 100 day eating clean challenge. I don't know if this stuff, we'll see how it goes. I'm feeling pretty good, but last night I had dreams of raping a pint of Ben and Jerry's mint chocolate cookie ice cream. They say that the first 24 hours is the hardest and that it gets easier every day thereafter. And the sugar, it's the addiction to sugar that's the hardest part to get rid of. And everything sort of falls into place if you can maintain the discipline. Sort of like a, like a bunch of dom, like a domino effect. You know, day two, day three, they just get easier and easier and easier to fall. And before you know it, supposedly this 100 day eating clean challenge yield some pretty, pretty uh, awesome results so oh, we'll see how it goes we'll see uh, see if I'm feeling any lighter on my feet if I'm losing any weight if I do I'll be sure to post plenty of uh, semi nude selfies all over my Facebook Twitter and Instagram because I know that's exactly what you guys want to see I mean, not for nothing, but really, I wish some more ladies would do that and less guys. I mean, there's way too many people, out, too many guys out there with their shirts off. On my so and so, Jeff Newbridge posted new photos. Why do I need to see that on my newsfeed? I don't care. I don't need to see that guy's six pack ripped abs. with his smoking hot girlfriend on the beach in Bermuda somewhere enjoying life. I don't want to see that. Anyway, that's enough for today. I got to get going. I got shit to do. I'll talk to you guys later.